What's up everybody? I'm Darren Farrell with the Living in Metro Detroit team. And if you want to know everything about what it's like to work, live, sleep, eat, play, anything in the Metro Detroit area, then hit that subscribe button, tap that bell, and you're going to know exactly when every new video we make is coming out for you. So if you're even thinking about moving to the Metro Detroit area, then shoot me a call, send me a text, even throw me an email. I don't care if it's day, night, weekend, we are here for you. We got your back. So there's a few things you're gonna to wanna to know before moving to Metro Detroit. I'm gonna give you nine reasons that you need to avoid moving here. You know what, I'm probably gonna throw in a bonus, so stick around for that. Now let's get to it. Number one, I'm gonna say dreary days. Everybody says the weather, all this, yeah, it goes up and down. You know what, if it's gonna snow, you know it's gonna snow. You go out and play in the snow. That's all fine and dandy, but dreary days. When you don't have sunshine. Now, if you move here in the spring, that's gonna be perfect because you're gonna get here and everything's gonna be growing, the sun's out. Yeah, you get the showers in the spring for a bit, but it's just intermixed with a whole bunch of sunshine. Through the summer, oh, gorgeous. You're gonna love it. You're out, we go days, weeks on end with just beautiful sunshine with some showers mixed in and out. It's wonderful. Through the fall, still great. You get to Christmas time, you know what? It finally cools down. Maybe you get some snow for Christmas. Hopefully, we always love it when we do wake up for a white Christmas. Awesome here in Michigan. But then January 1st, it starts. Everybody who lives here knows for the next four months, you're waiting. It's that just horrible time of the year here. And I mean, if you're snowmobilers, uh, if you s ski, all these types of things, that's all great. But all the other time when you're working and just here and it's just cloud cover and it's dreary and there's no sun and it's one week, it's two weeks, it's three weeks, it's four weeks, it's brutal. It's totally brutal. And I mean, you can get, you know, a light. Some people work with seasonal depression lights, seasonal depression. So you kind of get what I'm talking about. Uh, you can do something like that or, you know what? Buy a ticket. You know, there are so many flights back and forth from here to Florida, from here to, well, we go down to Austin because that's where our kids are. We have two of them down there. So we jump on a plane, fly on down to Austin for three, four, five days, get away from this, enjoy some sun, get relaxed, get revitalized. And then we come on back and we make it for a little bit longer, plan a couple, one, two, three week vacations in that time of the year. And that's what carries us through because I tell you what, boom, the minute you get here in uh, spring, and it's 40 degrees out and the sun's out. Everybody's got their shirt off, running around in their shorts. It is crazy, but dreary days will get you. If you're not a big sports fan, then you probably don't wanna be in the Detroit metro area because I tell you what, we have some of the best and most loyal fans in the world. I mean, you talk to a Lions fan who's been waiting since 1957 for a team that's halfway decent. That's some pretty good loyalty right there. Now the Wings have done well. We've had our day with the Pistons. Uh, you know, a lot of great things that happened there, but every time you go down there, whether or not we have a winning season, a losing season, Tigers have people in there every single day. It's incredible just the loyalty of our fan base and how Michiganders love their sports teams. And then to take it on a different level, we've got U of M, and Michigan State, two powerhouse teams that always dominate in one of the areas somewhere. So if you're not into sports, a lot of people are gonna be talking about it, so uh, be ready. People talk about the schools in Detroit. So let's look at it this way. If you live in Detroit, you're gonna have horrible schools. They've been mismanaged, people have stolen things from them. I mean, that list goes on and on, you can do all the research for that. But if you're gonna be in Detroit, then you know what? Send your kids to private. It's about the only thing you're gonna be able to do. If you're outside Detroit, which is where most people live in the Metro Detroit area, we have phenomenal schools. Go on niche.com, take a look around. 
incredible, incredible schools known nationwide for what we have. Do we have private schools? We have phenomenal private schools too. So whatever avenue you're looking for or whatever school system you need, it's out there. Give us a call and we'll get you a list of what schools fit your criteria, your needs for your family, and we'll find some spots and we'll go take a look. You might want to avoid Metro Detroit if you don't like wildlife. If you don't like animals around you, they're gonna be here. Now deer are everywhere. You gotta dodge them in your car, you gotta shoo them out of your yard because they eat literally everything you planted that looks nice. So be ready for that, buy your sprays, all these things. I don't know, for everything everybody does, I never find anybody that it actually works for. You turn around one day, you forgot about it, and they eat it anyways. So be ready for that. Uh, right around here in our little, uh, neck of the woods here we have turkeys and these things tear up the grass like no tomorrow and there's nothing you can do they are protected by the state of michigan you just have to let them tear up your lawn and then go back reseed it fix it and move on from there and then of course we've got all the little animals that like to run around you know we've got squirrels and chipmunks that chipmunks dig up everything too uh, we've got skunks we've got raccoons that jump into things and you got to keep it all covered up so all these little type of animals we have. We don't have that many snakes, so at least that's that's pretty good. You southern guys, you got a lot more snakes you gotta deal with that we don't have to. But if you don't like wildlife, then this might not be the place for you. And if you like small dogs and you live a little bit further out into the upper parts of Metro Detroit, then you really gotta be careful because we've got coyotes that like to run around and uh, pick off your dog, your cat, and the other kind of small little animal that's around. So, yep, a lot of little critters. Be ready for them. If you can't handle it, don't come. One more thing. If you do not like alligators, then you're not going to want to move to Metro Detroit. Oh, wait. We don't have alligators. But we do have them in Florida, which is our other channel, Living in Tampa. My partner, Tom, can tell you everything about the Tampa area. So, hey, this is Michigan up here, but we're all over the place. So, uh, if you got some questions on Tampa, shoot me a call, give me a text, send me an email. I'll get you some great information on Tampa and the surrounding area. A lot of people like to talk about the crime in Detroit, and you know what? It's there. Okay, it is. Certain spots, like every city, it has crime. I mean, our first house we bought was right on the corner edge of Detroit in a place called North Rosedale Park. And I tell you what, we lived there for almost 10 years. And you know what? It was a great place to live. Now, they did steal two cars in 10 years, so it was kind of a trade-in program. Uh, but other than that, we had we had no other issues. Uh, my son went to, went to college uh, at CCS in downtown Detroit, has lived there for nine years, loved it. Went to New York for a little bit, uh, came back uh, during COVID when all that went crazy, is living back down there now. And you know what, knock on wood, never had an issue but he did look at buying a house in a, in a spot and i looked it up and the national average for crime is around 388 acts per whatever this was at 5600 i'm like i don't think we're gonna uh, look to buy a house for you in that that little area but that's detroit most people moving to detroit look in metro detroit and i tell you what outside the suburbs are normal we have normal crime rates out there i'll tell you what we lived in our house for 25 years before we bought a condo here uh, a little closer to detroit than we were we were up in clarkston which you can look up on the map and see and i tell you what for 25 years my keys sat in my car which sat in my garage which sat open every single night never had a problem never had a problem is there little petty crimes things like that go around yes don't listen to the news not everything outside Detroit is that way next up auto insurance okay you know what if you're gonna be number one in the country why not be number one in something right unfortunately for us that's auto insurance. It is 
nutso, ridiculous, stupid in here. Especially if you're in Detroit. We're number one. Say what? Then doubles up from there. My son, who moved back from New York, finally needed a car again, hadn't had a car for four years. We insured it. We were close to $500 a month for a car that did not even have collision on it. It was just basically, in case anything happened, he was covered. But if something smashed the car, done, gonzo, no coverage for that. 500 bucks a month for the first six months until the, you can go back and get out of a pool that they put you in. It's, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. But if you, with all the other things that we have going on here, I tell you what, that's just one little spot. Every place has something that's going to catch you. For here, it's going to be the auto insurance. If you're taking a job in Michigan and you're going to move here, then nine out of 10 times, you're probably gonna have to deal with the fact that the job market moves up and down with how the automotive companies are doing. We're tied to it, we can't get away from it. I tell you what, I had 35 years in the flooring industry and I tell you what, the minute they talk strike, the minute sales go down, we follow right with them. So most everything is tied into that. So. With the, with the job market, be ready for those type of things that are gonna happen. And, uh, and that's just part of it. I, I don't know what else to tell you. If you don't like water, AKA lakes, then you may want to avoid Michigan. Because I tell you what, with over 11,000 of them, you're gonna hit them somewhere. Normally every five seconds, somewhere here. And I mean, if you don't like big lakes, then you got a really big problem because we were surrounded by them. 3,200 miles of lakeshore in Michigan. Number one in the country. Nice, huh? So with that, I tell you what, not only is it just lake living and all the great things that go around with that, but every time you gotta drive somewhere, you know what? All you're doing is dodging in between. No road goes straight in lower Michigan right in the metro Detroit area because there's a lake somewhere around it. But you can always give directions by telling what lake you're bouncing in between and that's right where you're from. So buy a boat, get some jet skis. Because in the summer, lakes are the place to be. I tell you what, for my whole life, that's all we did. On the weekends, we'd have certain friends, different lakes. Different lakes have different feels around here. That's another video that we can do. Uh, some lakes are skiing lakes, so they have uh, courses set up. They're very, you know, into that. Other lakes are just pure party lakes. I mean, just psh, sitting out, drinking brewskis all day long on a pontoon boat. And that is just how the whole lake works. If you want to water ski other stuff, it's tough because there's so many boats just parked out in the middle of the lake. And there's some lakes that are just quiet. Some lakes don't even allow you to have a motor on it. So, I mean, you can pick all the different kind of lakes that you want because they have them here in Michigan. So, water, get used to it. We got it. Come play in it. Okay. If you don't like basements or really even know what basements are, you may not want to move here. Because I tell you what, my kids hated the basement. You know, the boogeyman lives in the basement. And I tell you what, up through the time that they moved out in their early 20s, if one of them needed to go down the basement, two of them went just so one of them didn't get killed by some mysterious thing we didn't even know was down there. But they were totally convinced that there was something in the basement that was going to get them. Could never get that out of them. And it was a walkout basement. So, I mean, it isn't even like you went down into a pit. You could walk out into the pool behind the house. Never got that. But basements, if you don't like basements, I don't know. I never thought that there were so little basements in the U.S., but there's really only seven states that, that, uh, that have a lot of them. And even in Michigan, it's not that big of a number once I did a little bit more research. But I tell you what, in... Metro Detroit, up in Oakland County, close to 50% of the houses have basements. And a lot of them are walkouts, probably a lot of time on the lake or just uh, on a little bit more of a hilly region uh, that's in Oakland County. Uh, we get great basements. I loved it. It's always cooler down here in our condo. I tell you what, you go down, 10 degree drop right now. 
it's 85 degrees out, it can be hot as heck in the rest of this condo, walk downstairs, boom, a crisp, easy, 68 degrees, no air on, just sit down there. I mean, we had covers on last night, it was 88 degrees out when we went to bed and we had covers downstairs while we were watching television right before the storm blew through and the uh, middle of our movie and the cable went out. But at least the lights didn't go out and we weren't trapped in the basement thinking somebody was gonna kill us. I'm telling you right now, finding a place right here is nearly impossible. Metro Detroit is huge. If you wanna know everything about living in Metro Detroit, I mean, work, eat, sleep, party, finding something, whatever you want to do, we've got your back. Just tap that subscribe button, ring that bell, and we'll notify you every time we drop a new video about everything going on in Metro Detroit. And honestly, we get so many calls, texts, emails every single day with people who are moving or relocating here, and we just love it. All we've got to know is a few things that you like, a couple things that you don't like, type of house that you're at, where your job is, or if you don't have a job, if you work from home, what's your style, what do you like, give us a few of those things, and we're going to say, yep, got a couple areas that I think are going to work out perfectly. But you got to reach out to us. You got to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. We have got your back for anything that you need after the time.